The state-of-the-art 28-meter-long flume is one of the largest facilities of its kind in the world for studying landslide and debris flow problems. This facility was spearheaded by the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology and supported by the Research Grants Council of Hong Kong. The channel is 28 meters in total length, 2 meters in width, and 1 meter in depth. The flume can model a maximum volume of 10 cubic meters of debris flow. This unique facility was purposefully developed for studying the scale-dependent interaction between debris flow and multiple flexible barriers. For this project, a new instrumentation cell has been developed to measure the normal and shear stresses and changes in pore pressure. This instrumentation cell is installed at regular intervals along the base of the channel. In addition, unique instrumentation such as unmanned aerial vehicles are used to carry out 3D reconstruction of each test, and smart soil particles are used to investigate the mesoscopic dynamics within the flow. Hong Kong is a very huge city, resulted in about 300 landslides every year. And given the climate change, and people expect more, bigger, unexpected landslides will occur. Conventionally, people use a barrier to stop debris coming down and to hit the urban area. But the current design guideline is essentially for single barrier only. And this project is designed to verify our newly developed design guideline for multiple barriers. To my country, I think debris flow and landslides is something we experience throughout the year. I thought maybe if I do research and then find out ways to mitigate it and to implement those kind of structures in Sri Lanka would be beneficial. I'm from mainland China. Uh, there are many uh, mountainous areas in mainland China and landslides and uh, debris flow are extremely uh, ha uh, harmful hazards and also uh, Chinese government have paid great efforts on reducing uh, such hazards. Each test starts by transferring a pre-mixed debris flow mixture down a chute into the storage tank. The UAVs are flown into position and the gate is released by lifting the mechanical arm controlled by an electric motor. The gates swing open and the debris flow is released down the channel. High-speed cameras are used to capture the impact dynamics on the model flexible barrier from different angles. After each test, the images captured from the UAVs are used to carry out 3D reconstruction of the arrested material behind the barrier. It provides a very good opportunity for uh, researcher, industrial practitioner uh, to come together to uh, have a research on this topic. For example, um, the initiation of debris flow, uh, the transportation mode of debris flow, and also the impact characteristics of debris flow, which is very important in uh, updating our design guidelines of uh, debris flow barriers. This film bay research will provide substantial impact um, to the industrial practice. <laughs>